Hello and I hope you're having a great day. This will be an instructional video on how to use Bing Maps to route multiple addresses. We'll start by going to Bing Maps and the first thing you want to do is click on the directions tab. A window will pop open on the left side where you're to enter the addresses that you're going to. So you can either type the addresses in individually or you can uh, copy and paste them from somewhere. Now you can populate the list there. That's the first two. To add more addresses you just click on this add destination and you add more. You can add up to 25 addresses. Most free programs allow you to enter 10 addresses. Uh, I like Bing Maps because you can do 25. Okay, I already have a populated list of addresses, so I'll open that up. And say that you had quite a few addresses. This is what it would look like. Okay, uh, you can either go on the route, like you could take, you could print this map out and just carry it like that you'll know by the where the letters are positioned which one you should hit first for your best mileage but you also have the option of moving these addresses around by hovering over it hovering over the letter clicking on it and then dragging it to where you want it to be so right now if you were to to travel with the route like this and go from A to X you would be covering 107 miles and it would take 4 hours and 20 minutes. Um, some routing programs optimize the route and they figure out what's the shortest distances. On Bing Maps you manually do it yourself. The few minutes that it takes to put it together uh, saves you a lot of time on the road. So I'll just switch this around myself. Now A will be the starting point and X will be the end. So what we'll do is we'll move a few addresses around so we can shorten that 4 hours and 20 minutes or 107 miles. I will, let's see, we'll make that, R. so I take this B and I'll move it somewhere else. Okay. It's already beginning to look a little better. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We're going to change this J to I. But since I is all the way over there, we'll make what's I X. Okay. Yeah, that looks a little better. So A, B, C, D, E. F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X. Yeah, that's an optimized route, and I can spin the wheel and make the map bigger or smaller. But making those adjustments changes this distance to 64 miles, three hours and 11 uh, second, uh, three hours 11 minutes. Now, you're also able to print this route and you're able to share this route by uh, opening up another window. So on more you click on share and it gives you an, a web address to where you could copy and paste this. So if I was to copy this right click copy open another tab and paste this in the address bar enter it's going to show me that very same route. So if you sent that to someone, it'll show you, it'll show them that route. So I'll go back here and exit out of that. Now, to print this route, you hover over more, you click print, and it opens up a print window. Now, uh, the way that it opens normally is it shows you turn by turn directions, but I would rather click on map only and it shows me the list of addresses and a map. Now 
I'd want to fit all this on one page so I would have to make this map smaller since it's so many addresses to fit on one page let's small uh, make it smaller and then I'll drag it and put it up there when I push print it shows me what the page would look like and so all those addresses do fit on one page it shows a list of the addresses it shows the amount of time that it takes in the distance and there's a little box here you can make notes inside this little box if there's apartment numbers next to these addresses you can add the apartment number um, as you go to each address you can check them off it gives you a place to check them off if there's a gate code you could put it beside there makes it so easy for you uh, but that's pretty much how you create a route with uh, Bing Maps and I'll get out of that and there you have it thanks for watching